So my Santa Claus friend named Amazon just delivered these recently. <laughs> these are three, I've actually, I actually purchased five of these. They are the SanDisk 64 gigs, read and write at 170 and 90. So I've got some more equipment coming in and I needed these and also I just wanna add these to the cards that I've already got. So I'm excited to start using these and I've actually already torn into one and it's on the camera right there. So speaking of cameras, I'm gonna answer a question that I'm, that I'm asked often, and that is, what equipment do you use for, for vlogging, James? I've got it in emails, I get friends that will text me that are they're just starting out or wanting to vlog, so I'm gonna go into my setup right now that I'm using right now, and I'll show you guys and talk about what I use for vlogging. The first thing that I use, or the first thing I wanna talk about is the camera. And the camera that I use for vlogging is the Canon EOS M50. It's a mirrorless camera. It's easy to use. It's very compact. It's very small. I didn't want to, you know, lug my 5Bs and my other cameras that I have around for vlogging. So I wanted something small, something lightweight, something that I'm familiar with. It's a Canon camera. I wanted to stick with Canon because I love the colors of Canon. The menu is very easy to use. If you're, if you're familiar with Canon cameras, you'll be familiar with this menu. Lots of settings you can do in here. And like I said, it's, it's small. It's got a flip screen that I can use for vlogging. And this is the camera that I use. This is the camera that I've used for every vlog that I've posted, I think since around 2018 or so. Um, sometimes, most of the time for the, the vlogs that I've shot, they're on this. The ones that are in the car, I'm using my, my phone for that. But most of the time, if I've, if I've got the option, I'll stay away from the phone and use this just because of the quality, because of the color, because of everything about Canon that I love. So the Canon EOS M50, it's relatively inexpensive compared to the other big boys that are out there. And I think nowadays on Amazon, B&H Photo, Adorama, wherever you wanna go, they've got these guys and other manufacturers and what they call video creator kits. So look for that, very easy to use. And uh, like I said, it has some beautiful quality. The other thing I use when I'm vlogging, is this Rode microphone made by Rogue. It's very easy, uh, very lightweight. This guy's the biggest one they've got in terms of their shotgun microphones for cameras. Um, you'll see if you go online, they've got several models of the Rode mics, but this one in terms of quality, in terms of sound quality, because I'm, I'm just, I'm very particular on sound. This one is the best that they have out there. And this is what I use on all the vlogs that I'm doing or that I'm shooting when I'm not using the lav mic, which is what I'm using now. And I'll go into that in a second. But when I'm out and about, when I'm using uh, this guy here, if I'm holding him and got the camera on this, and I'll talk about this in a second, then usually this is on the camera as well because it's just convenient, it's easy to use, it saves me a couple of steps in my post-production. And uh, like I said, very, very easy and very lightweight. Again, this is the Rode microphone. The other thing that I use when I'm vlogging, which is what I'm doing now, is I will use the Tascam DR10Ls. Let's see if I can show you that one there. That is the Tascam. I've got several of these guys here. I use these for weddings mostly. I use them for vlogging, obviously. I'll use them for some corporate work, interviews, things like that that I use when I, when I don't have some big shotgun mic that's hanging down over them. Um, I used to do that with my vlogs a long time ago, but it's just, it's a lot of work uh, to get all that out where I can just slap one of these on. Again, I'm huge on sound. The sound sounds great on these guys. And so again, Tascam DR10Ls are what I use. And like I said, this is just one of several that I have and I'm wearing one right now. So Tascams and talk about the Tascam, talk about the Rode mic talked about the camera itself, and then finally, I use these, this Joby Gorilla tripod right here. Uh, it allows me to bend the legs, put the legs in whatever configuration that I want. Uh, sometimes if I'm down shooting um, shots for companies, shots for businesses where I've gotta get real low, um, I can just simply stretch out the legs for this guy and get the you know a nice low shot if I need to. So this is the more higher end one. I think this was around 99. Um, but again, it's very lightweight when I'm vlogging. Just simply what I usually do is I'll tilt one of the legs back like that. 
and then I'll hold this guy. And any, any vloggers that are out there, you'll see them doing this. I'll hold it out like this and, you know, vlog, vlog at that point. Again, with the camera on and the Rode mic on. So, again, that's, that's what I use, guys. Um, I won't go into what I do after this vlog is over, uh, but just kind of a real quick scenario is I'll take this, run it into the computer as far as the footage. I'll run the audio because it's going to be on a separate file into the computer. I've got an application that I use that syncs them up real quick. It replaces the audio off the camera with the audio on this guy, syncs them up right on the timeline, and then I'm good to go. I can make any audio adjustments at that point. I can make any color adjustments. I'll just take off, do what I need to do, and then hit render at that point at the end. So I hope that's helped you guys out in terms of, of what I do. So each vlog that you see, this is the process that I'm doing. Um, you know, as far as, as far as shooting these right now, I've got, I'm inside my house, my sliders are open, but I didn't really feel it was, it was enough adequate light, uh, right now because it's very, very cloudy out. So I've got another external light right now, lighting me up, um, big on audio, big on lighting. And of course I'm huge on, on quality. So the post before this, you just saw, um, or if you haven't seen it yet, scroll back one and you'll see the shoe game that I posted. Three cameras rolling, lights are, are lighting um, the bride and the groom up, and of course the audio. I'm huge on all three components, and uh, that's just that's just me. I'm pretty particular about that. I just want the best, you know, for your wedding. I want the best for the vlogging when I'm shooting, and so um, I'm pretty particular about that. So anyway, I hope that guys, I hope that helps you guys out. Again, the Canon EOS M50, the Gorilla tripod, the Rode microphone, which has fell on the ground now, and I'm not going to grab it. <laughs> And also the Tascam DR10Ls is what I use. And I've got one sitting right here if you can see it. So anyway, hope that helps you guys out. Um, in terms of answering that question, because I know a lot of people kind of wonder, James, how do you how do you do things? How do you you know set your stuff up when you're when you're vlogging? And this is what I do right here. So you guys have a great week, great weekend, I should say, since it's coming up. And I will catch you on the next VL OG. All right, you guys take care. Have a good one.